Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson 4 here, bringing you guys week number 7 of my Man 15 Ultimate Team Season 2. And what happened in this game was just pretty much of a good game, solid game. I'm just gonna say I recommend to watch. It's a pretty much of a fun looking game. Um, before we get into more gameplay details, guys, I just wanna say there's some certain people on the hot seat. Like last week, I mentioned some certain people. This week, there's gonna be some new ones. Ryan Tannehill, he overthrew the tight end. He overthrew T.Y. Hilton, and he overthrew Patterson. I didn't show the one from Patterson, but I did show the other two. And it could have been an interception. And, you know, it's crucial. So Ryan Tannehill might be replaced next season by Cam Newton, Jay Cutler, or Sammy Buh, which is the legend. Another person who's in the hot seat, my tight end, Brian Selick, or Brent Selick, whatever his first name is, you know, Selick will be replaced pretty soon either by Jermichael Finley or Jordan Cameron because the guy dropped a wide ass open pass like it was just like he was by himself and he dropped it there was nobody around him it was just ridiculous man and I found out he has actually 78 catching so it's a, I need a crucial change with the tight end position um, another guy who might change will be Chris Ivory my backup running back he fumbled on the crucial moment it could have changed the game but it didn't Go because I have freaking recovered it so sorry for the little spoiler right there but you know god damn it Chris Ivory got me a little bit pissed right there so he might be replaced by Rashad Jennings now moving on to the gameplay details guys the only people that stood out on my opponent team was D'Angelo Williams and Jay Cutler itself I don't think he had any kind of receivers going on going on I mean he had Eric Weems and some other guys I didn't recognize none of the receivers but and I know the running back D'Angelo Williams and Jay Cutler on defense the only guy who stood out was none of them because I was just riding smoothly like through his defense so I really didn't get any kind of trouble going on there was no sacks no problems everything was running well except with my own team like Ryan Tannehill and Selleck who are messing it up I mean come on look at this Selleck you had it on your hands bro come on what do you need the glue from the little Giants Jesus that's why I need Jermichael Finley or Jordan Cameron man I just need somebody who can actually catch I've been noticing my tight end never freaking blocks that's why I switched switched out Dwayne Allen for uh, for this guy so like and it didn't work so anyways toes down by Doug Martin pretty much a hell of a drive no problem as I said before guys I'm a clutch guy if you guys kept your eye on the time I only had like one minute to score so it only took me a minute to score this guy took him like freaking a quarter and a half to freaking score damn I mean he struggled Watch this kick return. CJ Spitter to the left side, running it over 70 yards. God damn, he turned out fat, and he drops down. I don't believe how CJ Spitter can be caught like that, man. He's one of the fastest players out there, and yet he gets caught. Like, come on, bro. I don't think so. It's probably the throw. I think he doesn't have enough stamina to actually keep up out there. So I might look into that and switch him for Joe McKnight. And here's a little bit of fullback dive with Chris Ivory. Pretty much a simple thing. And this is the part where he overthrows Selick, and I'm like, damn, bro, are you kidding me? I could have just scored right there or something. But nah, I actually just ended up running down the middle, Doug Martin. That's all I did throughout the whole game, guys. I just ran down the middle. No problem. Like, last game, I mentioned that I was going to have trouble passing because I knew I wasn't ready for it. Well, this time, again, I only went with one solo challenge, and I wasn't sure about passing. So all I did was just running down the middle, half back dive. ISO go uh, was the other one that I did um, a little bit of counters here and there but you know it was mostly tap back dives but I still did a hell of a job and the guy was just playing zone and I was like yeah you know just give me that opportunity down the middle and unbelievable he tried to scramble with Jay Cutler why do people scramble with Jay Cutler I think I believe he has a lot of break tackling ah oh, right there could be a pick my defense was pretty much reacting pretty well, no, 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 uh, no trouble, no problems. It's just that this guy had chances to scramble and um, that's it. And the only way he would advance the ball is by running down the middle. I understand why he didn't keep on doing it. Well, I did stop him right there, but like he had a chance. He had a good running back. So 14-7, false start. I mean, offside. it was offsides. And Doug Martin actually broke that tackle and he took it almost all the way. It was an amazing run. I was really shocked. I was like, oh, damn. And I was just kind of ready to fall down right there. But no, that was just an amazing run by him. Chris Ivory with a little fumble right there. Really, I was like, really, Chris Ivory, are you serious? You've never fumbled this many times, not until season two. So he's going to be changed pretty soon. Doug Martin with a simple run. And get ready. 
get ready you'll see what I'm talking about get ready guys uh, the score is 20 to 7 1 minute and 30 to go what's my opponent gonna do he hasn't chosen a play yet and he disconnects the guy rage quit yep he disconnected guys you should be able to see that and once I um, you know once you see the ending uh, I'll be showing you guys, you know, all my history of my wins and everything. You should be able to see my score. I mean, my uh, my current record is 7-0. So, guys, I'm 7-0 undefeated, just like my first season that I played on last year's Madden, uh, Madden 25. Uh, it has been a hell of a season. I still need one more game in order for me to proceed to the playoffs. And uh, for sure, it's going to be a hell of a playoff game. I need to win the Super Bowl, guys. I know I can do it I, with my style. I think I can but there's going to be some certain changes, you know, on my team, with, especially with the tight end. So, this is it for now, guys. If you guys want to see more Man 15 Ultimate Team, make sure you subscribe for more.